In this T's math multi-step word problem, we're going to look up how to set up a proportion. I'm going to show you two ways to do this because there's definitely more than one way to set up a proportion correctly. This example here is from one of my T's math live sessions, T's math live session number nine. Make sure to check out the full video. But for this particular problem, pause the video, read it over, and once you've done that, you will notice the word feet is getting thrown around quite a bit. And that can be confusing. Which feet goes where? How do we know we're doing a proportion? Well, look at this. This 4.5 feet represents a child's height, and the six feet represents the child's shadow. So we're comparing heights to shadows. Sure, this was our child, but we have another thing. We have this flagpole. We know its shadow is 40 feet long, and we're trying to figure out how tall the flagpole is. So look at it this way. Our two things, yes, we have a child and a flagpole, but we are comparing heights to shadows. Now I'm showing you two different ways of setting up this proportion. These are two different ways here. There's actually more than these two ways. Let's look at this one over here on the left first. Notice that the 4.5 is the child's height, as we can see in the problem, and the six is the child's shadow. So we have child height over child shadow. What does this X represent? That represents the flagpole's height that we're trying to find over the flagpole shadow. So listen to this again. Child height over child shadow equals flagpole height over flagpole shadow. We have child on the left, flagpole on the right, but both of these things at the top, the 4.5 and the X are the heights, and both of these things at the bottom are the shadows. Cross multiply and divide. 4.5 times 40 immediately divide by six. Our final answer is gonna be C, 30 feet. That's the height of the flagpole. Now notice the different setup over here, but look at how things are gonna be matching. Child height at the top, flagpole height at the bottom. Child shadow at the top, flagpole shadow at the bottom. Do you see the difference here? In our first proportion, child on the left, flagpole on the right. Second proportion, we have child at the top, flagpole at the bottom. Not only that, and where you have to be extra careful, back here we had heights at the top, shadows at the bottom. Now we have heights on the left and shadows on the right. I'm showing you this not to confuse you, but I'm trying to show you the freedom that you have because students often comment on videos and they'll say, I didn't set up my proportion like you, but I still got it correct. And there's a reason for that. There's definitely more than one way to set up a proportion. Now, if you notice here, if you cross multiply and divide, you still will be taking 4.5 times 40 divided by six. Your final answer will still be 30 feet the height of the flagpole. So check out live session number nine and head over to becraftmath.com slash math where you can find tons of other free tease math videos. And also check out app.becraftmath.com where you can find question banks and workbooks. Everything you need to pass the math portion of the T7 all in one spot.